but like 19 and 18, like you just graduated from high school. What do we have in common? Like, I feel like I'm, you're looking for something different. I'm looking for something different. And I especially don't want to be your first time. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm okay. Here goes. We're going into the next one. Men value sexual purity in women. Mm. So if they're a virgin, like for most men, that's a pro. That's not a con. Which is also weird. Don't you want them to be like good at sex? Do I want them to be good at sex? Like imagine if women thought that same way and were chasing after men who are virgins. Like he would never put it down right. Yeah, but it's, see, but for, honestly, it's not that hard for a woman to be good in bed. Especially if the guy, if you're more dominant and you, you lead in the bedroom. But then you shame I us mean, that we're you know pillow princesses. Make up your minds, men. I mean, but here's the thing. Like, you can teach a girl. Most, but most women, though, would have serious issue. Like, oh, I have to teach a guy. What? I have to show a guy how to fuck me. Most girls want guys to come pre-assembled. <laughs> they want guys to just get it. They don't want mm -hmm. to have to teach a guy. Build a bitch. Some, now, some women will be fine with that. They'll show a guy, and maybe they're a bit more on the dominant side. But, I mean, most men, like, if you know what you're doing, you can teach the girl. You can, give me a virgin, I'll teach her exactly, I'll make her good in bed. Boom. Problem solved. You guys want to come in on this, go ahead. <laughs> yes, please. Who's first? Go ahead. Oh, no, I, me, I want to hear you. Actually, before you come in, so you said, like, oh, you, as a guy, you'd have nothing in common with someone who's younger or also a woman would have an older woman would have very little in common with someone who's younger if it was a cougar for example i just meant like even me being 21 and that person being 18 like that would be such a limit to what we we can do together and then also just in terms of what we've been through in life like genuinely you just graduated from high school I don't know how else to put that. It's just like would be weird for me to date somebody who just got out of high school. Hey, maybe it's, it's like they're in their first year of college. Good for them. Do well and date someone else who's in their first year of college. But this whole like commonality thing, I hear this one a lot. So let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever had a ton in common, had a ton in common with someone and you've just simultaneously not been attracted to them? Yes. Yeah. That's a friend. Right. You're not attracted to them, but you have a lot in common with them. Right. But so commonality then is not the key determining factor in who you find physically attractive and who you want in a partner. No. Yeah. Wait, are you disagreeing or No, agreeing? I mean, yeah. Right. So, um, I mean, you've probably met, also you've probably met people that you have great conversational flow with of the opposite sex. Conversation's great. You're just not attracted to them. Have you had that experience? And yep. they're a friend, right? So, I don't know, to me, like, I don't need a girl to have the same weird taste in 90s music that I do. I don't care about that. Um, you know, so, I, you know, I don't, I, for me, then again, like, the type of woman I like, she doesn't need to, like, come with the witty banter. I don't care. <laughs> if she has it, great. I don't care. She, like, there's things that are more important to me than being able to relate on movies and TV shows and that shit. Can Go I ahead. ask you what's more important to you? What do you mean what's more important to me? What's more important to you than witty conversations and relating to movies? <laughs> <laughs> Out of curiosity. Okay, so just <laughs> on the topic of, I mean, we could even go into like, talk about types with each other, but um, just specifically conversationally, like I don't need a girl that's like, super fucking witty. I don't care. I don't, need a, I don't need a girl that's funny. I don't care. That That is like so low on the totem pole for me for what I want in a woman. It doesn't matter. I want a girl. I, <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I like this. I want to hear this. Because you've mentioned before that you don't like like statistics about like guys don't want a funny girl. So I'm kind of I'm kind of curious now. Yes, what do men look so, for? So, okay, well, I'll say this. So I'm <laughs> definitely more introverted. I'd say f for the most part, I'm a fairly soft-spoken individual for the most part. So I want that in a partner. I want a girl who's kind of introverted, who's a bit shy. You don't want the opposite to balance it out? No. I don't <laughs> want like a loud, obnoxious, boisterous 
woman. No offense to those of you out there. Men taken. But okay. <laughs> no, I mean I I like kind of quiet, mellow, calming, relaxing chicks. I don't. That's me though. Demure is a good one. Demure. That's that's demure. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> I like Sorry. demure women. It's like moist. <laughs> oh, but demure. Yeah, all... <laughs> I've heard that moist complaint from yeah. a lot of women. Mm-hmm. For some reason, that seems to really bother y'all. Yeah. Um, okay, so where where were we going? I, I guess think you had. It's just strange because as a woman, like I really want a funny partner. Like in fact, that's a such a huge plus for me. If you can make me laugh and hold a conversation. Um, I think, you know, looks is something, but I've definitely lowered my standards in terms of, like, looks when it comes to personality. Like, personality has added so much to a man, like, m- more than his height would ever I do. I want a boring chick. Oh, my goodness. I don't want a chick that's going to take me on adventures and that's exciting. I just want, like, a mellow chick. Something stable. You want it a homebody. Like you may need a cougar that's, like, ready Ooh. to, like, stay home and, like, chill and, like... <laughs> Do some like, that sounds like that might be good for you. Like, she's done her adventuring. She's done her wild parties days. She's run through them. She's ready to go to bed at 7 p.m. Like, that no, might... I stay up late, but I don't... I mean, just speaking specifically about that. But that might be up your alley. if she, She's tapped out. She's done by, like, 8 p.m. <laughs> like, she's ready to chill. That might be for you. Perhaps. Okay. Yeah. Perhaps, but I mean, so okay. I, I don't really drink, mm. occasionally from time to time. But if I do, it's one or two drinks max, a glass of wine, a beer. That's it. I don't go to bars. I don't go to clubs. I don't party. I would rather, and I've said this before, I'd rather masturbate with sandpaper than go to a bar or a club. 